So <clears throat> bring us back to that night, your recollection. And I want you to be honest, as honest as you can. I mean, everybody has, uh, you know, people are incarcerated and stuff like that. The case is over, so I'm pretty sure you can talk about some things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bring the us to that night, what you remember verbatim. All right. We This was actually our first, this was our first show that myself, Jim, and Joels did as the diplomats. Because we was just Cameron and the diplomats. You know what I mean? Everybody was one. It was actually being formulated into Cameron and the diplomats. And we were the diplomats. We did our first show. It was at Jimmy Cafe right there on Fordham. So we did the shit. Shit was shaking and all that. And we met on, um, after the show was over, we met on, um, I think, 116th and Park. And, um... We was with my man Britt, and we gave Britt all the all the things that we wasn't supposed to have because we was going home. You know what I'm saying? After the show, Jim went to the Cheetah Club. Back then, it was the Cheetah Club on 23rd Street. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the no, Cheetah Club? Y'all probably too young for that shit. So I'm like, Fuck it, let's go down there. I'm, a, I'm like, let me go see the nigga Jim. You know what I mean? Because I know he down there. So while I'm looking for parking, a nigga hit my hit my truck. So. I don't know at the time what the shit is, but my father told me that was that's the move, what you do. They hit your truck, you get out to see mm -hmm. what's going on, they see the jewelry that you got on you, then they book Try you. Get you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I, when I got out, I was on the run. So when he hit the car, I'm like, F I, shit, I, I don't want to get locked up because I'm on the run. So I tell these niggas to go around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So we go around the corner, so they just sit in there like, but I should have known. I don't know. I, I, I didn't, because I didn't, I don't, I didn't understand because I wasn't a part of that. Two niggas went down to the corner because we in the middle of the block. One nigga stood right there and it was that f***ing nigga now that, I, now that he's saying it. He was in front of me. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting there. I said, I said, listen. Just give me some bread and y'all niggas can get the fuck up out of here. We ain't got to do none of this extra call the police shit and all that. Because I'm on the run and my other man was on the run. So they standing there looking like a lump on the log. So I said, yo, where's, who's the nigga with the money so we can get the fuck up out of there? Nigga backs out on me. I'm like, oh shit. But I, my brother always taught me, if you, if you in arm's reach of the gun... Go for it because y'all both at the at the same y'all could y'all you got a chance. You know what I'm saying? So when he did it, I grabbed this hand, the nigga started letting off. Boop 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 boop. Damn, I sound like a New York nigga for <laughs> real. So the shit jammed. I mean, or whatever it did, once it stopped, I spun the nigga around and I put the nigga in the full Nelson. Because once the shots was going off. The two niggas was over there that was down there, pulled out the hammer, and the nigga right here pulls out the hammer. I said, I'm dead. But I had the nigga in the full Nelson, so now when these niggas is trying to shoot me, I'm aiming this motherfucking nigga up to all the hammers, you know what mm. I'm saying? So I must have had the nigga so tight, the nigga swung his body to the side, and that's how my shit was open, and he hit me, boom, pow! You know what I'm saying? So now I'm down, I'm down, so I guess his man came, and his man took the chain, took the chain off my neck and threw it. And when he threw it, I reached out, and I grabbed the chain. Hell no. I I swear to God. That's some think, Matrix shit going I on, man. I swear to God, this whole conversation <laughs> is facts, man. My grandmother re-come out the grave and die of a horrible death. So, grab the chain. And when I grabbed the chain, the nigga, the nigga was like, the nigga was like, yo, hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. So then, when that, after that happened, we still tussling. I got the, I don't even know I got this nigga gun. When he said it, I ain't even know I had the nigga. I ain't even know somehow while we on the floor tussling, I end up with the hammer. So as soon as I get up, boom, nigga hit me with the car. And it ran. Now I'm just sitting here. He revving the shit like. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, 
it, my nigga. God damn, take the chain, take, just go. So then, nigga backs up, them niggas breeze. So I turn around. No, I got the hand, I got the hammer in my hand. So I'm like, oh shit, these niggas going, the police gonna come and these niggas gonna kill me. So I put his hammer or your hammer? Huh? That was his hammer you had or his? Yeah, I never had no gun. They, when they when them niggas pulled out, it was four guns to none. Mm. So I'm like, yo, this is over. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So now after all of that, I had the hammer. I'm like, yo, the cops gonna come and think something happened. So I put the put the, the gun in the trash can. But when I look, I see my man. Rest in shout out to my boy Eric Mingle, man. I love you, boy. Rest in peace, Eric Mingle. <clears throat> so I'm looking at this nigga and it's like blue, blue, like blood just blew up here, blue, blue all over the place. And I and I and I'm like, damn, I feel cold too. So he's like, yo, Zeke, I'm cold. I'm cold. I said, man, don't worry about that shit, nigga. You gonna be alright. But now I'm getting cold. So after all of that shit, I was with four niggas. So my other niggas, they came back from getting the fuck out of there, which I don't blame them, nigga. Ain't nobody got hammers, you know what I'm saying? My man came, and when my man came, I, I, handed, him the, I handed him the chain, and I said, yo, tell them niggas my name is George Moore from Puerto Rico. So, boom, he left, and then, boom, the ambulance ended up coming, and I didn't notice, but by then, like I said, I went to go see the nigga Jim. I went to, cause Jim was, a, he was starting and botting. He was always in the Cheetah Club every time. So I heard that the nigga Jim heard what happened. He was fighting the police niggas to get, get to me. And I, some, I don't know if he got to me or not. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, that was it. I pass out. Boom. I wake up. I said, Oh, ah, I'm like, ah, but I try to move. I got the handcuffs on me. Mm. I'm like, the fuck is going on? Like, what is going on? And that's when the, the police niggas came. That's when the police niggas came and they was like, yeah, hmm, Mr. George Moore, huh? Or should I say Ezekiel Giles? <laughs> You're wanted for the murder of Eric Mingram. But that's when I found out my man died. So I'm like, oh, Eric Mingram died, my nigga. I'm like, oh. So they was like, they was like, yeah, well, we, we know you got the gun. You, you had the gun. I'm like, nigga, if you seen that I had the motherfucking gun, then you should see how the motherfucking, you should see how I ain't killed my man. You know what I'm saying? It was like, what happened? What happened? I said, I don't know. I seen some green shit. And I just, boop, and I just went out. And that's the God, that's it right there. So now, fast forward, now I'm in jail. Like, I open wounds. But I, I, I got a motherfucking go to court. And that's why I had to take the stand because I had to explain why I didn't kill Eric Mingram because I had I was in possession of the gun who, you know what I mean? I was in possession of the gun who killed Eric Mingram. And that's where the the snitching part is, that's where it started because it says, when I got up on the stand, of course, they asked me what happened. I told the story just like how I told y'all. And what they asked you was, do you see the person who shot you in it? No. Do you see the person that shot you in there? Ezekiel Freaky Zeke Giles said no. All right? So then I'm thinking, then they asked me, do this happen? Nah, I don't recall shit. 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 I'll come back to the island. I'm coming back to the island like, yeah, nigga, I have to stand, nigga, fuck out of here. I ain't no shit. I told nigga, fuck out of here. Ah, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ah. The shit on the front page says, Freaky Zeke testifies. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> and this is my first time. This is my first time <laughs> on the island. It's just your man's, man. So <laughs> it's the first time I'm on the island. I'm thinking I'm Gucci. It says Freaky Ziki testifies because these motherfucking niggas thought. Now let me let me tell you how the mesh comes in with the snitching part. 